If you're selling your home, there's a couple things you need to do to make sure you sell quickly and for top dollar. In another video, we talked about one of those things, which is optimizing the quality of your listing. In this video, we're going to talk about optimizing the reach to your audience. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, we need to make sure we're reaching the right audience, the right types of potential buyers that would consider buying your home. And we also want to make sure we reach as many of those people as possible so that we can attract as many showings as possible to your home, as many offers as possible, so that hopefully we can get multiple offers of the most qualified buyers to write offers on your home so you can kind of weed through those uh, and ultimately sell for top dollar as quickly as possible. Also get the best terms from your offer that are not just based on price as well. So that's very important that you're reaching the right people and you're reaching as many of them as possible. So one of the things we do, and you want to make sure if you're interviewing agents, you want to dig into this question and ask specifically, what do they do? What do they not do? Because believe it or not, not all agents do the same thing. There are many agents that offer generally the same service for the same price, but there are some lower end cost providers that offer less service. There are some that offer more uh, for obviously a higher price. And then there's um, a few companies that do flat fee listings. We're based, our model is based on being the best value in the industry and we're very confident that we have that. But I wouldn't, in your case, recommend that you just take my word for that. You wanna make sure if you're interviewing me, for example, make sure we discuss all the specifics of actually what we do to uh, reach the right people in the right places on the right platform. So one of the things we do with our premium flat fee listings for our clients is we make sure that uh, the listing is published in the MLS. Now most agents will do that. Some of the uh, lower cost providers will only do that. They'll just publish it in the MLS and they won't provide you any help beyond that. But that is a valuable tool just in general to reach as many potential buyers as possible because most home buyers that are really serious and qualified are working with an agent and they're looking exclusively or almost or at least primarily through the MLS. They may also be browsing on Zillow and other home search sites, but those, so those sites actually get their data from the MLS. So if you're not in the MLS, if you're just on Zillow, for example, if you're doing for sale by owner, uh, you're only capturing those people that are looking on that site. You're not capturing anybody who's looking on other sites or who's only looking through the MLS. So when you're selling a car or a collectible or a house or anything, um, you're, I'm sure you've sold something throughout your lifetime, you understand the concept. In order to get the most money for it, you have to reach the right people. You also have to just generally reach as many people as possible, right? So depending on the product, you may not have to reach the entire world. Uh, obviously, if you're selling a house in Cincinnati, you don't need to be uh, marketing overseas or anything like that, but we wanna reach everybody who's potentially buying a home in Cincinnati, for example. Or if you're trying to sell something that's pretty common of pretty low value, you probably don't have to really reach out to many people. You might be able to uh, post something in your neighborhood group on Facebook and get it sold pretty quick. So uh, for when you're selling your house, it's a huge asset. It's something that you wanna sell for top dollar, get every single penny out of it that you can. So you wanna make sure you're reaching all potential buyers, especially those who are qualified. Uh, and the best way to do that is through the MLS primarily. Again, that data syndicates to all the other consumer sites and apps. Um, you also wanna make sure you're promoting your listing on social media. And when you're interviewing other agents to potentially hire them, you wanna ask more questions about, about social media and the advertising they do, not just asking, do they do social media? Get some examples of what they actually have done. Look at their Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, YouTube. Look at all of those feeds, make sure that they're actually promoting their listings and make sure you like the way they're doing it. Ask them questions about why they do it that way so you can understand what they're actually doing to promote your listing on social media. Now, most buyers will still come from the search sites and from the MLS. There's not a ton of buyers that come from social media, but sometimes they do. Uh, and uh, so we definitely wanna make sure we leave no stone unturned when we're marketing your home. One of the things we do on social media is we actually, when we do our photography and videography, we get the, those done professionally in different formats. So not just we're not just posting on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and LinkedIn and TikTok. We're doing all of that, but we're doing it in the right format. So if you're not familiar, there's actually different formats within each of those platforms for different kinds of videos, whether it's horizontal or vertical or short form or long form. And you may not understand all that, but your agent should understand all of that. They should understand 
how to uh, capture the photos and the videos in those right formats, how to promote them, how to get them to the right audience to make sure that your listing is promoted to the right types of people and as many of those potential buyers as possible. Because as you know, again, from selling anything, you need to reach buyers who could purchase your home who are looking for the type of thing you're selling and reach as many of those people as possible. So whether you're working with an agent um, or you're working on your own, you want to understand what you're doing, who you're reaching, and how many potential buyers you're reaching, and make sure that you're reaching as many as possible. For example, if you're thinking about not working with an agent and doing it for sale by owner, just understand whatever sites you're posting to, that's the only people you're reaching. You're not reaching the MLS where most buyers are looking because most buyers are working with an agent who are showing them listings from the MLS. So if you have any questions about how we help our clients to promote their listing to the right type of audience, as many potential buyers as possible, to attract the most number of showings possible, the best offers we possibly can, ultimately help them sell quickly for top dollar, visit our site. Uh, you can learn more about our services, our pricing at 513flatfee.com. You can also click a link on that site as well to schedule a call if you'd like to discuss your situation in more detail. I'm Patrick Grosser, again with the 513 Flat Fee Real Estate Group at Fathom Realty. Thanks for watching.